Welcome to Hacker Hacking Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover broken access control. In this scenario, we will access someone else's basket, like the typical e-commerce baskets we have. So as our target lab, I'm going to use OWASP Juice Shop. Now in order to complete this lab, we need to first log in to OWASP Juice Shop. For this, you can go here and register yourself with any credentials of your choice. I have registered myself and I'm going to log into this lab. Now, once you have logged in, go ahead and let's add a banana juice to our cart. And let's also add a green smoothie to our cart. Now, let's go to our basket and look at what we have in our basket. Now, as you can see, I have a banana juice and a smoothie in my basket. So now in order to understand how we can access someone else's basket, we need to understand how the requests and responses are being shared between the web server and your browser. Now let's go to Burp history and see the request where we call the basket. Uh, here. If you look at this request, this actually is using an API and 5 looks like the user number that has been assigned to you for calling your basket. What if I could send this request to repeater and see what response we get here. Now if you look, I have two things in my basket which is a banana juice and a green smoothie. What if I were to change this basket number from 5 to let's say what 1 and let us see what happens. Cool. If you see now we have a success and we have an apple juice and egg fruit juice in our basket which typically was not there. We also have an orange juice. Looks like this is someone else's basket. Now let's do it in real time. So let me come to the home page and now let me turn burp intercept on and try to access a basket. Now if you look, this is the request that is going for the basket. I change this number to 1 and forward the request. Intercept off. And if you see, I have access to someone else's basket. Now in this lab, as you can see, I was able to access someone else's basket and this is what OWASP top 10 broken access control really means. This is a classic example of an insecure direct object references as well. This is known as, you know, when you are able to access an object that is insecurely called by the web application. This is it for this lab. Thank you for watching. I would love to hear your comments on this video. Please share your valuable feedback and comments so that we can make even better videos for you. Thank you for watching guys. And as always, God bless you all.